Today we're making one of my favorite recipes of all time, my mom's famous gluten-free pumpkin cake. So I'm adding one cup of pumpkin to a bowl along with one cup of organic brown sugar, one cup of gluten-free flour. I'll show you which one I'm using. I like to use the Bob's Red Mill or this one is also really good but any one-to-one -one gluten free flour should work. Next I'm adding one fourth cup of melted coconut oil. You could also use avocado oil or even melted butter. A tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Next I'm gonna add in one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, a good pinch here. Don't be too shy with the salt. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. So here I am again with a one bowl recipe. I always say these are my favorite because the less dishes I have to do, the better. So we're gonna mix this all together until you get a batter. So this is my mom's famous gluten-free pumpkin cake. We have been making it in my family for years and years. And when I tell you everyone is so impressed and obsessed with this pumpkin cake recipe, I am not kidding. Everyone always requests it. No one can tell that it's gluten-free and made with simple, real food ingredients. So this is by far one of my favorite recipes, if not my favorite recipe ever. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. So this is gonna be about the consistency of your batter. So I have a eight by eight dish here. You could also double the recipe and make it in a larger dish, which is typically what I do, but today I'm just making a quick one. So I'm gonna pour this into our lined baking dish. I lined it with some parchment paper just so that nothing sticks. So when I tell you I make this recipe probably like 20 times every fall, and so does my mom. We bring it to any family or friend gatherings we have. We make it for all the holidays. We, make, we almost pretty much like meal prep it so that we just have it on hand for the week. It's so good. It's so easy to make. So from here, you're just gonna gently spread it throughout your pan. So once you have it evenly spread into your pan, you're just gonna wanna smooth out the top. Doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna be adding some maple cream cheese frosting to this, which I'll show you how to make here in a minute. But we just want it to be as smooth as you can get it on top. Okay, so our gluten-free pumpkin cake is gonna go into the oven at 350 for 28 to 30-ish minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And then we're gonna add our maple cream cheese frosting, which I'm gonna show you how to make. And I absolutely cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe. All right, into the oven, our pumpkin cake goes. Okay, it's time to make the maple cream cheese frosting, which is one of the best parts of this pumpkin cake. So in my bowl here, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar. I'm using organic powdered sugar. You could also use a powdered sugar replacement if you wanna keep this recipe lower sugar. You could also use dairy-free cream cheese if you'd like. I have made this recipe a bunch of times using dairy-free cream cheese and it is just as good. Now I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of softened butter, two tablespoons of maple syrup. This gives it such an amazing fall flavor. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna add in a tiny pinch of pumpkin pie spice, just about that much. And now we're just gonna beat this together. I'm a little worried it's gonna make a mess because I am using a smaller bowl. So we'll start slow. So I'm gonna set this aside and we have our pumpkin cake here, nice and cooled. I'm gonna take it out of the dish just to show you guys how nice and fluffy this gets. It is gonna be so amazing. But I'm actually gonna keep it in the dish while I frost it just because I like a nice thick layer of frosting. So I wanna make sure 
we can add as much as possible. I don't want it to all fall down the sides. So I do like to frost this while it's in the um, pan that I cooked it in still. So we're just gonna spread our frosting nice and evenly over our cake. It smells so good. It smells like fall. This is such a nostalgic recipe for me because like I said, we've been making this in my family for so long. My brothers got celiac disease when they were really young. So I feel like we were one of the first people to start eating gluten-free. <laughs> So I actually personally like to chill this in the fridge for a while before eating, but I wanna do a taste test to just show you guys the texture of the inside of the cake and everything. But I personally think it's really good when it's chilled for a while and the frosting sets a little bit. But I am gonna slice a nice big piece. All right guys, how good does this look? Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this gluten-free pumpkin cake out but let's go in for a bite. I just can't get over the texture. No one would ever guess that this is gluten-free. It's so amazing with the frosting. So here we go. I've had it so many times, so I don't really need to do a taste test, but I wanna show you guys how good it is. Truly, there is no way to explain how good this cake is. It just almost melts in your mouth. It is so good. This is my first one of the season that I've made. So I almost forgot just how good it is, but it's absolutely amazing. Let me know if you'll try my mom's famous gluten-free pumpkin cake recipe.